Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. How y'all doing? It is I, Richenda Pickens. Yeah, y'all know, it's me, Richenda Pickens. Vessel being used by God, crown checker, Arthur, CEO, um, founder of Kept Woman to God Ministry, you know, wife, mother, Nana, yes, Nana, as you see in the background. I'm in baby girl's bedroom. I'm on Nana duty. Nana duty. I've been on Nana duty for over a year now. So anyway, let's finish the conversation from being kept to being kept. Because I told you all a few days ago that we was going to go a little deeper and have some conversations um, around the book. So the other day I talked about the beginning talked about how do i begin how do i begin that was the beginning of <coughs> excuse me from being kept to being kept my lipstick is a little bit crooked i put on this matte i put on this matte lipstick and anyway let me stay focused so anyway i gave you all the beginning um introduce you to who I was, um, my mom and my dad, when I was born, 1964, yeah. I, I gave you the, the rundown on my entrance in the world. Yes, because the, the beginning is what shapes us to how we are, where we are right now. So, now we are on memories. Yeah, chapter two is memories, y'all. Look, memories are huge. They are huge. Um, memories will allow you to recollect things that um, maybe at the time, maybe didn't seem important to you. But over the years, you will be able to go back and say, it was that memory of that is how I'm able to move forward in this particular season in my life. And so um, the memories for me and from being kept to being kept, the question I had to ask myself is how far back can I remember? Yeah, because, you know, it, it always amazes me when I listen to people talk and they can remember way, way back. And for me, I couldn't remember everything way, way back. Um, I had to pull my sisters in to ask them questions, um, ask them things that they may remember and I may have forgotten, but it was very, very um, crucial when I wrote this book, from being kept to being kept. Um, so memories, uh, how far back can you remember? Or should I say, how far back do you want to remember? Yeah, that's a, that's a key question. How far back do you really, really want to remember? Um, because certain things we will block out because um, it could it could have been a very, very painful experience and we want to forget about it. Um, and what I believe is we, we, we can't block it out. We have to look at it, embrace it, identify what it is, um, turn it over. And what I mean by turn it over, release it um, to the heaven, to God. Um, it doesn't mean you're going to forget it, but you identify what it was. And it allows you to move forward. That's what I had to do. Does your childhood memories play an important part in your life today? Absolutely. Absolutely. Remember, my past was a healing process for me. It really was. As I wrote this book, and 
and I shared details. It was a healing process. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to watch the baby. It was a healing process for me. It allowed me to really, really look deep inside of my memories of what took place and what shaped me to be that woman that was kept by those strongholds. Okay, let me keep reading. Um, remember my past was a healing process for me. The hidden and the covered up scars had been band-aid up for quite some time that they appeared to be healed. Yeah, they appeared to be healed. See, many a times we put a band-aid over things and it looks like it's healed, but it's not. Yeah, many of us, we have band-aid up a lot of stuff and the root of it is still oozing of stuff that's not healed. When that takes place, the bare eye would not have noticed the scars of my past. Most of the time, it's hard to uncover the truth about ourselves when we are in denial. Well, let me rephrase this. For me, being able to admit the truth was recognizing my brokenness. In order to be healed and set free, I had to snatch off all the band-aids bit by bit and tackle each infected area. Memories. Chapter two, Memories, um, was very crucial for freedom. And what I want to ask you today is, let me back up. What I want to ask you today is, are your memories the truth or the lies? Are your memories truth or lies? Memories could be either. Depends on who is recollecting the memories. Are you really ready to remember those painful memories and quit covering them up? What about trying to convince yourself that those painful memories are gone and weren't important. Let's dig deep. Let's dig deep. Um, comment below. I want to hear your thoughts about memories. Let me go tend to the baby girl. Because I'm making new memories in this new season of my life. This is your girl, Rich and the Pickens. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.